I say hello to all of you there and I welcome you all to Civil Curious channel. In this tutorial, as we saw in the cover, we are going to discuss about the continuity plate in the steel structures. Uh, this video has two parts. In the first part, I just want to learn you the philosophy of work and in the second part, the to the calculation of this phenomenon. You know, let's get started. Suppose that earthquake occurs in our system, you know, and the upper flange of our beam here is subjected to tensile force and the down flange of our beam will subject it to compression force that I'm going to show that with seal you know and here our column the uh, design strength of our flange of our column should uh, bear this uh, tensile force you know let me show that with the uh, uh, calculation you know here we have uh, we'll write that here here we have phi r n that is design the strength of our flange of column should be greater than this action tensor action let me show that to you phi r n should be greater than the tu that is uh, for earthquake you see if this happens we don't need any continuity plate in our joint otherwise we have to set a continuity plate this is our continuity plate this is our continuity plate we have to set a continuity plate in our joint we call it continuity plate in our joint you know in the next video we enter in design of a uh, continuity plate we call continuity plate as another name we call that cross stiffener is the other name of continuity building that was all everybody for this part i hope you all enjoy it if you like it please subscribe the channel to motivate me to create more videos for you thank you everybody thank you very much